I've just been so lonely, 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 lonely. I've been so damn lonely. These niggas acting phony, 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 phony. Acting so damn phony. Just get out my way. Swerving through lanes, I be drifting away. First thing you want to do, obviously, as always, do a uh, project file. You can just do anything. Uh, let's go with that, because that makes sense. Um, CUDA. If your PC isn't as good, then switch those off for only, but I highly recommend CUDA. Uh, I mean, time code all frames works, but I use a time code, so, right. Next thing you want to do is just import your clips that I already have, but you shouldn't need too much help there, so. Next, just sync your clips, so that shouldn't be too hard. I always try and go here, so where the audio is, and we can see the shot gets taken there, so it's yeah, it's on point. Then obviously connect the markers over each other. There you go. With the other one the same. So where's the kill? It's here. There we go. Boom. And sync that up. And it should, if I can make them shorter, sync perfectly. I've just been so lonely, 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 lonely. I've been so damn lonely. These niggas acting phony, 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 phony. Acting so damn phony. Just get out my way. Swerve. Yeah, so that's good. And on to the next part. So now we're going to do the timer mapping for the clip. So all you want to do on both is show, show clip keyframe is timer mapping speed on both. Then you want to pull this up so you can see it. And now, then you look exactly on the marker for both clips. Then you go nine frames, so, and then one max, so nine, so 10 minus one is nine. I presume you know that. So then you want to go back and go nine frames that way. Right, like that. Then you want to put this up to 300%, up here, and drag this in a bit, and put this to about 70% I like to do. Then, I don't know about, then about here, you just go another keyframe, back to 100, pull this back, and you can do a little thing so it's a little bit um more smoother and you just do that for the other one too so is that exactly on the marker no it is not i'm gonna go it's nine nine the other way up to 300 where is it and this down to 70. Up to 100. It's basically the same thing for every clip, so once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy, believe me. Drag that down and let's look at that. Oh, it's lagging you a bit. I'm just gonna render it out so that it lags less. By the way, if you're wondering what that does, it basically just creates a new, um, a little pre-render in your RAM, so that it's easier to think, um, to see. So you just go I, and you can just go O, sequence, and then render into out. That will play better. All right, let's look at this. I've just been so lonely, 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 lonely. I've been so damn lonely. These niggas acting phony, 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 phony. Acting so damn phony. Just get out my way. Swerving through lanes, I be drifting away. And I can't. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And on to the next part. 
So first thing you want to do is actually um, do the BCC bolt reflex. Or the last thing you want to do. Uh, it is a paid plugin and you have to download it, but it, you can find it cracked like literally everywhere. So it's usually not a problem to uh, get. So you want to do the height to zero first. That's not zero. All right. Then the radius to a thousand. You want to go on the kill. Uh, keyframe height to minus 20. Then go here. Keyframe it to zero. And you go maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe like a second before the kill. Uh, keyframe and put this to zero. Right, let's render this out and see what it looks like. Something that I forgot to mention is that you have to click on the center point and take this over here and just put it on your crosshair. So there we go. I've just been so lonely, 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 lonely. I've been so damn lonely. These niggas acting phony, 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 phony. Acting so damn phony. Just get out my way. Swerving through lanes, I be drifting away. And I can't complain, swear that I be okay. Alright, I think that was pretty good. So now we're gonna do like a dip to black and then like a pink circle out. It looks pretty cool. So then you wanna hold Alt and pull this up. Your clip, whatever. Then this one, the bottom one, you want to do Lumetri color, basic correction, and put the saturation all the way down. You won't see it here, that's because this one's on the top. Then you want to go on the kill. There we go. You want to hit create ellipse mask here. You want to put the mask further to 50. And you want to put the mask extension so far down that you don't see it. So, about there. So, then you want to just go. About here, like a second maybe. Uh, keyframe this and put this all the way up. So that it covers the whole thing. So, about that. And now. Let's render it and watch it. It is no, uh, I think the file corrupted, so yay. But um, all you have to do then to the clip is uh, put the effect tint, so Lumetri color and then tint, and then you'll be good to go with the circle. Thank you all so much for watching. This is going to be a multiple part series where I show you all kinds of effects, transitions, intros, presets, etc. So if you enjoy my content or you learn something new, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel with post notifications, and share this video to a friend who might want some help editing. With all that being said, I hope every one of you stay safe. Peace. Peace.